Hello everyone, I'm Gogi from Gogi.in and you're watching the review of Infocus M530. Now this is a retail unit, I bought it for Rs 10,999. The specifications are clearly mentioned on the box, it's an octa-co powered handset running KitKat with 2GB RAM. Let's unbox, inside the box you'll find the M530 handset, data cable, travel charger, 5 volt 1 amp, good start guide, warranty card, cheap quality earphone, and the final content is the battery of 3100mAh capacity. Here is the M530, I got the violet color version. Build quality is good, it could have been better. This handset has got a common design, however because of the elevated sides surrounding the volume rocker, the handset looks a bit different. The body is made up of plastic, the sides are with metallic silver finishing. The rear side is velvet color with metallic finishing. Handset looks good for this price tag. It is completely flat on the front, however on the rear side, the camera module is slightly out. Though the front design looks common, as seen on many other handsets, the sides and the back panel gives a very elegant look to the handset. For this price tag, it's good enough. The handset has got a curvier bottom as well as curvier top. Power button is placed on the right side. 3.5mm audio jack on the top, volume rocker on the left, micro USB port at the bottom. There are dual mics, this is the primary mic and this is the secondary mic on the rear. This is the 13 megapixel autofocus camera with 1.8 aperture with dual tone LED flash and here is the secondary mic. When you open up the back panel, the sound values are clearly mentioned here. This is a dual sim handset, you can see the dual sim slots. Both these sim slots are micro sim, sim 1 supports 4G, 3G, 2G and uh, there is the micro SD card slot 2. SIM 2 supports 2G, however I'm going to test it out, I've inserted the SIM and as you can see 4G, 3G, 2G works on SIM slot 2. Here is the 4G icon on SIM slot 2 and uh, now I'm going to shift to SIM slot 1. In fact both the SIM slots support 4G, 3G, 2G. Handset width with battery is 178 grams and it is about 8.78 mm thick. The screen is scratch resistant to some extent but it's better to use a screen guard. Infocus M530 is running Android KitKat out of the box. Touch is very smooth and responsive. Performance is smooth. The navigation buttons at the bottom, they do light up as you can see. This handset sports a 5.5 inch screen with HD resolution, color reproduction and viewing angles are also pretty good. You can clearly see the fonts and the icons from several angles. Native video calling is supported. There is LED notification and this is how it looks. Of the 16 GB internal storage space, you'll get around 12 GB for apps and of the 2 GB RAM, you'll get around 1.4 GB free on the first boot. There is built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Hotnot. There was some issue with cell broadcast, I got a lot of unnecessary notifications, however, there was an OTA update available that fixed this issue. In case you're getting a lot of cell broadcast notification, make sure to update the OS. There is audio FX option that will enhance the audio output, however you get a low quality earphone with the M530. It would be better if you invest some extra money and get a better quality earphone. Here are some more options. Clear motion is supported and you can also switch the blue light filter on or off. Blue light filter is very good option when you're reading ebooks on your smartphone. And here are the color temperature settings, the screen mode. And in display, you'll also find the G sensor and magnetic calibration options. You can also enable or disable LED notifications. There is built-in GPS, Hindi language is supported. Gesture wake up, here are the gesture wake up option. Double click, slide up and so on. The handset also supports motion, here are the motion options. I have connected an OTG pen drive, OTG does work, as you can see. I'm going to disconnect this OTG pen drive just to show you. And now let's move on to the camera. This handset comes with a 13 megapixel autofocus camera placed on the rear and a 13 megapixel autofocus camera placed on the front. Here are the different mode options. There is HDR and optical image stabilization options. Rear camera can shoot in 13 megapixel resolution in 4 is to 3 aspect ratio and it can shoot full HD videos. The Infocus M530 can in fact play 4K videos. Front camera is 13 megapixel. 
Its autofocus and the front LED flash will automatically light up in dark conditions, as you can see. You can check the sample images and videos on my website. Let's move on to Info and Benchmark. This handset is powered by the MediaTek MT6595 Big Little Octa-Core chipset using two quad cores, clocked at 1.7 GHz with the PowerVR G6200 GPU. It's running KitKat 4.4.2 and comes with accelerometer proximity, light gyro and magnetic sensors. Before running the benchmark, the temperature is at 38 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 21355. And to score 32 bit for the first time was 45872, second time it was 45011. Nina Mark 2 59.7 FPS and this handset supports 5 point multi touch. After 11 minutes, the battery dropped by 4% and the temperature is 42 degrees. Let's play the Asphalt 8. This game got installed on the internal storage. I've set it to high visual quality mode. The game is smooth, however, there is some issue with the calibration. I'm going to reset the G sensor and now it's working pretty good the game is very much playable no lags I played this game for about 18 minutes the battery dropped by 6% and the temperature is 46 degrees the Infocus M530 is powered by octa-core processor performance is smooth lag free apps by default are getting installed on the internal storage however you can move some of the apps to the external storage Camera quality is about average, I expected it to be a little better since it comes with a 1.8 aperture lens. But for the price tag, it's good enough. Battery backup is decent, you can expect about 4-6 to six hours of continuous moderate to heavy usage. This handset is using the same chipset and competing with Coolpad Dazen X7, Lenovo Vibe X2 and it's cheaper. Available for Rs 10,999.